we look down this table, a lot of the effect sizes are significant. So the most efficient way to work through it is to probably cross off the ones that aren't. As we come down, we're looking for anything that has a negative effect size and a positive effect size. So if we look at helping relationships, there's no difference between contemplation and preparation. There's also no difference between action and maintenance. If we come down to reinforcement management, there's no difference between contemplation and preparation or between action and maintenance either. Self-liberation doesn't change between action and maintenance and stimulus control doesn't change between action and maintenance. When we look at the experiential processes, we find a similar pattern actually, that consciousness raising doesn't change between contemplation and preparation, neither does dramatic relief, neither does environmental reevaluation, and neither does social liberation. Finally, self-reevaluation doesn't change between contemplation or preparation either. So there's no difference between the use of those strategies in those two stages. If we look at the difference between action and maintenance, again, there's a similar pattern. There's no effect of consciousness raising, no effect for dramatic relief, no effect for environmental reevaluation, and no effect for social liberation. Self-reevaluation actually decreases between action and maintenance. So on the one hand, this is interesting because only a couple of strategies help people get from contemplation to preparation. Those strategies are counter conditioning and self liberation. Of those two, counter conditioning has a bigger effect size of 0.62 versus self liberation's 0.41. This means if someone's thinking about making a change but hasn't necessarily made any preparations yet, it's a good idea to start helping them to think about ways that they could swap one behavior for another. So if someone's thinking about doing a little bit more exercise, are they able to swap some sedentary activity like driving with something a bit more active like cycling or walking? There's only one strategy that helped people go from action and maintenance, and that was the same, that was counter conditioning. So if people are already taking action and you wanna get them to the point where they're doing it six months later, the best strategy based on the data here is to help them swap other sedentary behaviors with more active behaviors. Instead of watching TV with the kids, maybe take them outside to go for a walk or play with them in the park. The other interesting findings based on these tables is that pretty much anything helps people move from pre-contemplation to contemplation and from preparation to action. That in the contemplation stage, they're using all of these strategies more than in the pre-contemplation stage. And that kind of makes sense. And they're using all of these strategies more in the action stage than in the preparation stage. And that also makes sense. But what we want to look for are the ones that have the biggest effect sizes here. Of the behavioral processes, it looks like self-liberation and reinforcement management are having the biggest effect between pre-contemplation and contemplation. From the experiential approaches, two of these effect sizes are very large. Self-re-evaluation down the bottom and consciousness raising at the top. This might give us a hint that increasing the use of these two processes is much more prevalent in the contemplation stage than the preparation stage, so perhaps that's partially why that process is happening. Again, please keep in mind that this is all observational data, and so it's hard to make causal inferences. If we try to get people from the preparation to the action stage, which is mostly where we will see our clients, coming to see us is almost a preparation move, and then we want to get them to a point where they're starting to take action. So which of these effect sizes are the largest for helping someone from the preparation to the action stage? If we look at the behavioral processes, it looks like self-liberation is another winner here. Helping someone commit to a change out loud looks like a good strategy to getting them to take action. And as before, counter conditioning is another good strategy here for helping people go from a preparation to an action point. Looking at the experiential processes, self-reevaluation and consciousness raising are good strategies that people are using more in the action stage versus the preparation stage. These effect sizes aren't as big as counter conditioning and self-liberation, but self-reevaluation is the sort of thing you can do in a conversation with the person, and so is consciousness raising. Both of them are consistent with motivational interviewing, so when you're having a relationship in a supportive way, like we've talked about in earlier weeks, these are two strategies that might be helpful to get them into the action stage. So that might feel like a lot of effect size for you to take into account when you're making evidence-based decisions for your client. But you don't have to know all of these at all times. What we first need to do is try to identify what stage is my client at and then go to the table and just look for the strategies that have the strongest effect size from that stage to the next one. So to help practice this and check our understanding of where we're up to with all of these processes of change at different stages, I want you to try and diagnose which stage this person is in and then identify, based on the data, which of these processes of change are going to be the most helpful for that person. So let's say we're working with Francis. Francis has been thinking about getting into an exercise program um, and she's just having a casual chat to you about where she's at. She's kind of 
like understands the benefits of exercise, but hasn't really done anything yet. Hasn't got a gym membership or anything like that. So what stage of change is she in and how are you going to help her move to the next stage?